Hi guys, this hacker rank challenge is called Designer PDF Viewer and it's an algorithm implementation coding challenge. So I've already coded my solution here, but I'm going to take you through the instructions very quickly and then explain my solution line by line to you. So here we are simulating some sort of PDF highlighting feature. You can see um, this assumes that we have different words, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then G, H, I. And these words are being highlighted. So you can see that when we highlight each and every word, the blue rectangle, which corresponds to the highlighted section, is as tall as the tallest letter in the word that's being highlighted and as long as the word itself. So if we want to calculate the area of that uh, blue rectangle, we can simply guess the height of the tallest character and the length or the numbers of characters inside the word that's been highlighted and multiply them together. So let's say we have a word torn here and the uh, heights of the letters or the characters in the word are two for T, one for O, and one for R and also for N. In this case, the tallest character or the tallest letter is T because it's two. And we can say two times four to get eight because we have four characters, T, O, R, and N. So two times four is eight. And then we will just return eight in our function. So our input is going to look like this. We're going to have 26 integers. They are going to correspond to the 26 characters or the 26 letters of the alphabet. And then we're going to have a string here. So it's going to be up to us to check what is the tallest character or the tallest letter in our string, then use that and multiply it by the number of characters inside of our string to get the area of the blue text for the highlights. So let me now take you through my, my code here. This is our function in designer PDF viewer. So when you start this coding challenge, you're going to see that this looks like this. It's up to you now to write your, your solution, but I've already done it. And also I've added these ampersands so that my parameters are used by reference in my function. So at first I want to get a maximum value. So I have this max variable here, it's an int variable, and I set it to zero. I don't know yet what is the height of the tallest letter in my string. So for now, I'm setting the maximum value corresponding to the tallest height to zero. Then I use this for loop here. I'm accessing every character by reference inside my string. I am looping through the characters inside my string one by one. And then I get the height of that character and I store it inside this int variable here that you see. It's called current char height. Now this is the interesting part. If you don't work um, a lot or very often with uh, the conversion of characters and integers, you're going to be a bit confused by that. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying C minus 97. In fact, it's the same thing as if we had something like this, A minus 97, or maybe uh, U minus 97 and so on. But in this case, we're using C because C is being accessed directly from uh, within our string. So why am I using um, minus 97? Well, this has to do with the ASCII table here. So in fact, in C++, every character has an ASCII representation and they can also be represented by decimal numbers. You can see here in this column, um, this table here, this ASCII table, we have a column DEC. It stands for the decimal number corresponding to the decimal ASCII representation of our letter. And if you go to the row here, 97, you will see that this number here, 97, corresponds to lowercase a. I don't know if I have to make my screen a bit bigger, but if you can't see that, then here it is, a for 97, and then b for 98, c for 99, and then so on. So if I encounter something like a during execution, right, and I say a minus 97, I'm going to get zero. If it's B, then I'm going to get one. If it's C, I will get two and so on. Now, why is that important? The reason is I'm trying to access the height of every letter inside my vector here by the appropriate index. So if I encounter, let's say the character A inside my, my string here, then I want to check what is the height of A. In this case, A here is going to be at index zero inside my list of heights here. So how do I get index zero? I can simply take the decimal representation in ASCII for the character A, which is going to be 97, and I deduct 97 from it to get zero. In this case, the height of A is one. 
then height of B is 3, height of C is 1, and so on. So once I get this value stored inside my current char height variable, I can now check if the current maximum value that I have, which is my tallest letter, if the current maximum value that I have is less than the height of the character I am currently if they're written true with this for loop, then I'm going to store the height of my current character inside my max variable. I'm going to update my max variable with the height of the current character. Otherwise, I'm going to maintain my current max value. So this here is, uh, we are using the ternary um, operator. I've talked about that in a previous video. You can still go ahead on my channel and look for it if you want. But once this for loop is done, then the max variable is going to have the height of the tallest letter inside our string. So once we have that value, we can simply take that highest value and multiply it by the number of characters inside our string. That's why I'm using word.size. So that's it for the code. Now let's run it to make sure that it works well. We just passed test case zero and also test case one. And if I can take you through our test case zero very quickly, the tallest letter here is B. The height of B is three here. You can see because it starts with A, then the second one is B. So the height of B is three. And then there were three characters here. So three by three, we get nine. So now I'm going to submit this code, make sure that we pass all the test cases. And we just did. So we've completed this hacker rank challenge. That's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues or other students if you're in college. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.